Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Awaken. I'm Emma. This is May Week 2's Cash Tuffman and Week 1 review at a slightly later date, so apologise for this. I am running a few days behind due to work pressures, leaving me less free time to do things like this, which I love to do. I do try to live a simpler, slower way of life than I have in the past, but that doesn't mean that things don't still get a bit busy from time to time. I work as a warehouse manager for an international food wholesaler and distributor. I manage a team of 60 men to tight deadlines and fluctuating volumes and lots of things beyond my control can put us in a critical position, requiring me to work overtime or at home on the phone or email during working hours. I can't earn overtime pay though, only time back, which I actually prefer to be honest. That temptation to work more just for money isn't there. I only work more than me contracted hours when necessary and yet yeah, recently it's been necessary. <laughs> it's what comes with a senior role like mine and it's why I'm paid well and it's also why I try to be very intentional when planning my own time now. I no longer look to fill every spare minute with lots of activities. I just try to take pleasure in doing the simple essential things like housework, cleaning and organising my home planning my meals and grocery shopping, walking my dogs, so that these things don't feel like work too. Any time left after work and these things, free time, is spent with me girls or more recently on my new hobbies and interests, YouTube and very recently dog grooming. I'd love more time for me girls and to be able to do the things I love, like make these videos. I have so many ideas and I've made a start on so many different videos. And it's why earning a good wage and managing my money well is such a priority. Having your bills paid and as few of them as possible, having an emergency fund and savings and no debt will give me, or us, the option to work in roles that maybe pay less but don't feel so much like work. I want to work less and increase the free time. It's what I'm striving for and it's why I began cash stuffing. It's working guys. Thanks so much for your patience and continued support and hopefully very soon you should see and hear a lot more of me and more consistently too. Anyway guys, let's get on with today's cash stuffing and review. I'm stuffing £100 into cash expenses and sinking funds. Those who watch my videos regularly will be thinking, hadn't you planned to stuff £180 this week? And you'd be right, but because I'm posting a little late, it's now Wednesday and not Sunday. I've had to go ahead and put £80 straight into my car in diesel so I could get to work and do the school runs. So yeah, £80 has been paid out, but as planned, so I'm good with that. I just haven't had the pleasure of stuffing it into an envelope, but to be honest, it doesn't stay in there very long anyway. And you'll soon see that not much of last week's stuffings have stayed in their envelopes anyway. <laughs> so let's count out my 100 pounds. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 pounds. This is the smallest amount I've stuffed, but guys, for those who want to embark on a cash stuffing journey, the review of the previous week is very important and it's why I haven't just skipped this video altogether. I bet most of you already know where this £100 is going. <laughs> yes, straight into groceries. And that's it guys, we're all done. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> There's lots to share, so stay with me. Groceries, last week's £100 went on an exciting payday shopping spree, but an intentional one. Like, I had a shopping list and knew why I was visiting each of the shops I went to, but it didn't stop me taking you for a nice nosy around to see what each shop has on offer. Whilst cleaning out my kitchen cupboards ready for what was planned to be a big payday restock at Lidl, I realised I had plenty of food to use up. Same when I was defrosting my freezer, so I thought, right, I'm going to use up what I have and just go to Lidl for any extras I need to make up meals. So I only spent, I think it was about £15 in Lidl. And the rest was spent in Home Bargains, B&M, Dunnell Mill and Home Sense on more food items and some organisational bits and furnishings for me home. I've never enjoyed my weekly shop so much and it was all guilt-free spending because I knew where the money was coming from. 
So check out that video guys if you'd like some tips on how you can be more organised to save on your groceries to afford other things that you either need or have maybe wanted for a long time and aren't just impulse purchases. Now that I've run my kitchen down to almost bare and I mean really bare because I haven't wanted to spend this cash because I would have had nothing to stuff. <laughs> I've had spaghetti on toast me tea one night which I really enjoyed actually. The girls had some freezer foods and then last night I had the last of some chicken I'd frozen, some rice and used up any veggies I had left so we did just fine to be honest. I'll be using this £100 to restock later on today and I'm thinking at Aldi. So I'm going to stuff this £100 for that. Diesel, I upped my budgets from £70 to £80 a week and I'm glad because I don't feel like I can't go anywhere other than to work or schools. I did have to refuel on Sunday but I went out and about quite a bit last week so this was good and my fuel light wasn't exactly blinking at me so that £10 extra has really helped. Eating out, I'm on a no eating out challenge this month so never stuffed anything in here and never pinched any money from another envelope so it's going well so far. Kids pocket money, I gave Bella £20 pocket money, she hasn't spent any of it. I did however spend £5 on something for me but more on that soon. Car cleaning, I do this, I did pick up a nice air freshener for 99p for it from Home Bargains on my mini spree. Windows, £10 a month, the window cleaner knocked on for this yesterday. So I have nice clean windows. Plant spending. I always like to explain what this is. If I take any money out and about from one of my sinking funds envelopes, I put it into here. I don't carry my sinking funds folder out and about with me. It's too big and it's too risky. Sink and funds. Oh, it's cold. There we go. Got there in the end. <laughs> Days out, I stuffed a hundred pounds in here so I can do something nice with my girls when they're off school at the end of this month. I pretty much stayed at home all weekend. I think he took Benny and Luna for a long walk on Saturday, and that was it. I was busy though. I plan to share more on this, but Basically, my now ex-husband emptied the contents of the loft of our family home onto my drive. I wasn't expecting this at all. 16 years of household items, clothes, toys, random clutter, paperwork and of course sentimental items, which I was obviously glad to see again. So I worked through some of this. There's a lot to get through, but I plan to keep very little of it. Some has already gone to the tip like stuff that can't be reused, some is waiting to be sold at a car boot sale and some needs to be photographed and sold online. Then the paperwork and sentimental bits and photographs are going to take the most time to sort but I was thinking sorting through this stuff will make for great videos so I'm going to take my time and share at least some decluttering and organising tips with you along the way but just bear with me. <laughs> As I say it's been a busy time. I've still got my £100 in here. Gifts, no birthdays, no special occasions, no big events this month. Meant I had planned to keep hold of the £50 stuffed, but I've used £20 from here for two collections in work. One of my team managers left, so I started a collection for him and contributed £10. And a guy from my admin team has just welcomed a baby boy into the world. So again, I contributed £10 towards a collection to buy his baby a gift. So £30 remains in here. Health, £50 was put in last week and I said I was going to try to hold on to it. But, nope. <laughs> I get free eye tests through work and I had one last week because I've been struggling to see very well when driving in the dark. I am short sighted so I need glasses for driving and it turns out my prescription isn't strong enough so rather than buy a new frame I've just paid £55 for replacement lenses. 
I'd love a new pair or a couple really as I lost a pair last year so I'm down to just the one but it's not a priority for now. I took the other five pounds from Bella's pocket money. Remember I said I took some before. Although I have no doubt she'll get it back. Clothing, the sun and warm weather is starting to appear. So I wanted to be ready by having a couple of summer pieces because when I say I have a minimal wardrobe, I mean it's minimal and I definitely wasn't prepared. I bought a white linen dress from m and and a simple black dress from Asda and some knickers which you don't need to see <laughs> they're just plain black not fancy benny and luna i still need to add luna's name to this again i don't want to keep i'm not complaining but i don't want to keep saying it i haven't had the time this week so anyway this is benny and luna's envelope not just benny's the 50 pounds of stuff for them has gone towards some grooming tools i started my dog grooming course yesterday it was so exciting. I left school and went straight into the world of work. So being a college student with a student pass was actually really exciting. I'm only in a small class of eight and I found that we all had a lot in common and got on really well. And I already can't wait for next week. This first week was all classroom based, health and safety related as you'd expect. But next week things get a bit more practical. So yeah, over the next few weeks, I'll be able to take my own dogs to work on as well as my own grooming tools. So I've ordered some nail clippers because the ones I bought not so long ago aren't great. And I've also ordered myself a tunic. You don't have to have one um, on this introductory course, but why not? I'm going to end up covered in hair otherwise. And then when I do the advanced course that I intend on doing next, once this one's completed, I will need the tunic then anyway. So I'm just waiting on that arriving. I suppose it is for Benny and Luna, long term. Holidays, no, not yet. Christmas, I still have 150 pounds in here. Miscellaneous, 50 pounds was in here. I spent this on two new dressing table stools for me girls and a lovely candle from HomeSense. I shared these in my payday shopping video. Emergency funds, I still have £650 in here. Going well, staying well. Car maintenance, I've used the £85 of stuffs in here to buy two part one tyres for me car. I still need another but this will have to wait until next month. Don't worry, it's still safe for me to drive. I'd never considered part warns until my neighbour recommended a garage nearby that sells them. And to be fair, they wear half the price of the brand new ones. And even if they only last me half the time, they've saved me having to find more cash up front right now, which I really haven't got. Savings of the £210 are stuffed in here. I have £50 left. £160 has been used to buy a bag, order some shoes and jewellery. And now I know that I'm going to need to find around £80 for dress alterations, which yes, I've said before, I overlooked when doing my original budget for Lydia's prom. The £50 left will pay balances on beauty treatments. Not long at all now till she starts her exams next week. She's not getting too stressed, which is brilliant because I know exam time can be really stressful for some kids. She's quite chilled about it, but they space them out now over a couple of months. It was over a couple of weeks when I was in school so I'm not sure what's better a couple of months even while chilled to focus on revision every night and sit in exam environments is tough going so a prom will be a well-deserved treat at the end of it so I'm just so excited for her so within a week of my first cash stuffing for May I've spent quite a bit but my main sinking funds for emergencies and Christmas remain untouched so I'm fine with this I knew I had a lot to pay out this month. Although I've enjoyed planning it with her, having Lydia's prom all paid up will be a relief. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know by giving me a like or by sharing your thoughts in the comments. Click on the bell and subscribe button so you don't miss future videos like this. And I'm planning an intentional living. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.